going to win the Super Bowl. Let's break it down for you. Super Bowl 49. Patriots and Seahawks, the game many predicted and so many wanted to see. Well, why don't we get together for a weekend rendezvous? The only three things that I love are football. And well, and food, obviously. Let's 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 bring some food into that as well. Seven fifty-two. It's uh, time to check in with the lady who's all set uh, to tailgate for the weekend. In fact, she's in the parking lot right now with her trunk open. That's cooking with Kimberly's Kimberly Turner. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. How are you doing? I'm all right. Have Good. you have you tailgated before? Have I tailgated? Really? Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay. I went to Texas A&M. Wow. <laughs> That's actually a course at Texas A&M, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. But still when bonfire was happening. Yes, and that's that was your minor. You majored in tailgating and minored in bonfires. That's so. right. That's right. So, <laughs> so yes, ta- I've done extensive tailgating in my day. Let's let's get set for the weekend. So what have you got uh, what have you got for us this week uh, for this particular Super Bowl 49? Well, when I think of Super Bowl or tailgating, I'm thinking of Lots of awesome appetizers and lots of great entrees. The rest kind of, you know, can be really, really simple and easy. So let's go over the simple and easy and finish off with the delicious. Okay. Okay, so I'd say check out the Harvest Barn. Go ahead and grab yourself some nice produce and some nice fruit. Make yourself a fruit tray. Make yourself a veggie tray. And get yourself together a nice um, big salad for everybody. All right. Okay, so that's going to be our healthy stuff. (laughs) <laughs> okay, we get that out of the way. Okay, That's yes. out of the way now. All right. So appetizers, you can make your own tortilla chips that are tastier than the stuff you can buy at the store, and they'll be warm. Uh, so you're just cutting up t- flour tortillas or yeah. corn tortillas. Yep. You can bake them in the oven for like 10 minutes on 350 and salt them or season them in any way you want. So I never thought tortilla. of that, and it's so, yeah. it's so easy. So easy and much tastier. So you can do that, and then you want to have all of your little sides because you're going to use these sides on all of your entrees and everything else. So you're going to make some tomato salsa, which is easy, chimichurri. You can do pico de gallo and some guacamole. And then you can also do a roasted red pepper hummus. In case there are vegetarians there, you do want to sort of cater to them as well because the Super Bowl tends to be about meat. Yeah, I suppose. (laughs) Yeah, you think? Meat and carbs. Yeah, so lots of carbs. Get the carbs out of the way. Okay. You want to make a big container of rice. So easy. Grab your rice maker and throw it in. You don't even have to think about it. Mm-hmm. It can be served with just about anything. Make a big tray of mac and cheese. That's easy, and everyone likes it, including the kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Easy. You can do steak fries, or you can do loaded potato skins, but you can also use sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. So it's really pretty on the tray, and, you know, it's a little bit more variety. Okay, marking all of this down. Good. Okay. <laughs> so our, our carbs are out of the way, too, now, right? Right. Let's talk about meats. Okay. <laughs> now we're getting to the good stuff. We're getting to the good stuff. So first of all, you're going to need a really good dry spice rub for your meat because that's what it's about. You want it spicy. You want it kind of southwesty. I think. When I think of tailgating, that's what I think of. Lots of great hot spices, okay? Well, I mean, so, being a, being a, you know from Texas, uh, going to school in Texas, you'd come up with a lot of good Tex-Mex. <laughs> This is true. This is true. So we're going to do a Hescapa. We're going to add the Canadian element because we are Canadians tailgating. It's Hescapa smoked paprika pork riblets. So if you don't want to do a giant rack of ribs, you could always do riblets. How much easier are riblets? Seriously. You know, riblets are easy because they're easy to deal with. They're tinier. They don't take quite as long when you, well, we boil our ribs first so they're nice and tender, and then we grill them or we put them in the oven. That's typically how we do it. Yep. But it's just faster because the riblets are tiny, and the meat is nice and tender. Okay. Yeah, and everyone can kind of have their own little riblet instead of messing with the whole... Well, yeah, there's nothing as messy as as ribs, you're right. That's right, right, that's right. So we've got a... I did a beautiful uh, Napa Jack's Chipotle Cabernet pulled pork shoulder the other night. So we did pulled pork sandwiches. I baked homemade hamburger buns, which is so easy. It's on the site, too. I just did the show. And uh, then you can also make a pulled pork soup for people. They can use that, or they can do the sandwiches. Pulled pork soup. Oh, it's so great. It was. It's up on the site. It's up on YouTube. It's, it's up on my fan page, everything. Fantastic soup. Pulled pork soup. What What could be a better soup than pulled pork? I, I mean, it sounds mouth-watering just listening to it. I've never had one, but that I've got to try. And then you can serve the tortilla chips along with it and all those extra little dips and things. Yep. 
And um, if you wanted to go upscale, you can do some lavender lamb chops if you want. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that sound good? Or some bo- I did a Bordeaux cherry um, leg of lamb, a balsamic leg of lamb. That's nice and beautiful. Everyone would be really impressed with that. And you can feed everybody off a leg of lamb. How many people coming to your place on Sunday? You know what? We're doing quiet. We're going quiet. There's only going to be three of us. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, with all of this, I would have thought you were going to be serving like 40, 40 or 50 people. Oh, we've already had this this week. Okay. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Can- Actually, on Sunday, we're going to be doing um, pita pockets, chili dogs in a pita. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking forward to. Kim, all of this can be found on your website, right? Absolutely. You can you can follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E. You can like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and my website is Cooking with Kimberly.com. Tim? And we're always happy that you join us, uh, whatever the occasion. It's good to you uh, take the time to talk to us. Thanks, Kim. No problem. Thanks for having me. Happy to.